Well, if we didn't already have enough to be scared about, the new movie Imaginary, starring DeWanda Wise, has a teddy bear wreaking havoc on a family, leaving them to question whether an imaginary friend is as innocent as it seems. Take a look. So cute. She's having tea with her imaginary friend. It's a donut from England. Across the pond, they pronounce it skull. <laughs> She's a total daddy's girl. Your dress is so pretty. Thank you. She says he's right behind you. Oh, Lord and star and executive producer of Imaginary, Dewanda joins us now. Welcome. Thank you. Excited to be here. I don't know if I should be excited for you or angry with you. I know. <laughs> That's my general MO in anything I do. Oh, my God. Let me tell you, though, this was so good. But why you got to mess with something so innocent as a teddy bear? We like to destroy your childhood hopes and Thank dreams. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you did that last <laughs> night in two hours. But, so tell us what, what happens with Jessica. You play Jessica. I do. Tell us what happens with her um, when her and her stepkids move back into her childhood home. Uh, we move back into Jessica's childhood home and Alice, played by Piper Braun, who's extraordinary, uh, discovers chi uh, Jessica's childhood friend, Chauncey, which is the funniest name to me. Yes. I don't know why that's so hilarious. Chauncey, um, is a, it is a funny name. But yeah, friend. Chauncey starts to have Alice play this dangerous scavenger hunt game. And uh, that's where our movie kicks off. Yeah, I know. It's like hard. It's hard to promote something like this too, because you don't want to give too much away. But yeah. it is definitely scary. It's almost got like a little bit of a thriller, yes. like psychological element yes. to it. Um, are you a fan of watching scary movies? I am a huge fan of watching. Oh, scary okay. Because some people just know know that it's a good movie to make. But... I think people love watching horror because it gives you practice. It's like risk tolerance. You know, so before you go skiing, we're talking about skiing on the break. Before you do things like that that are a little more like, oh, that's more of a, like a physical risk. Yeah. You know, horror gives you practice to say, like, I can survive something scary. Yes, and I, I survived. I can do hard things. I survived. I survived it. Mm -hmm. it. And it is a scary movie. It's a it's a very good scary movie. And that's there's a difference. There's some, like, just bad scary movies well, that people watch and everything. But Yes, we call it Jaws 1. Jeff is brilliant. The director <laughs> calls it Jaws 1 versus Jaws 2. Okay. Like in Jaws 1, you're rooting for the characters to make it through. Yeah. In Jaws 2, you're just like giving a body count. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. But what do you think it is that makes a good scary movie then? Uh, compelling characters. Yeah. Like ones you care about, ones you want to see through to the end. You know, and at the core of ours, it's really just a family story. It's a story about facing your demons. Yes. You know, and so it, uh, you have to give the audience something to really latch on to in a meaningful way. Yeah, and in the end, it brings everybody closer together. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you have, I don't want to give anything away. We're going to talk about some of your other projects here, too. You just finished Three Women yes. on Stars. Yes. Any talk of season two yet? Because I know it's all out. Everybody can binge the whole thing at once. Mm -hmm. Great cast. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, no talk of season two yet, but it was an extraordinary show to film. I mean, as you can see, it's just like a bunch of titans on screen. Yes. So to be able to share that space, not only in a movie, a TV show that starred women, but you have all women behind the scenes. Like the production vibe is just, you know, it's one, as you can imagine, it's really of like nurturance and care. So yeah. I had an extraordinary time on I it. I love that. And you also have a movie coming out with Chris Pine. Busy. You're so busy. <laughs> Tell me who you're playing in that and how much, how great it was to work with Chris Pine. <laughs> I, listen, Chris Pine looks ridiculous in this movie and it didn't matter. I was like, I will shave you. I will clean you up. Like Chris Pine just brought out my inner fixer. I was yeah. like, everything's fine. I'll just yeah. dust you off. I can work with this. I can work with this. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Listen, he looks crazy on the street half the time, and I'm here for it. I too. mean, that's the real him, you know? That's the real him. Like AJ his... was talking about that authenticity. Like, yeah. Chris Pine is quirky <laughs> and brilliant and so fun. Uh, and I got a chance to play June Del Rey, who is the resident femme fatale. It was a dream come true. Oh, amazing. Yeah, it was an extraordinary experience. But you also lent your voice to a, ra a radio. Or, uh, Audiobook, thank yeah. you. I was going to say a radio book. I know. Was that radio fun to do? Because you haven't done that before. I've never done that before. It was a very aggressive choice on my behalf. <laughs> uh, but this is the debut novel of Maya Ariel. It's a romance. I am a sucker for a good romance. Me too. It's a true romance where you just have like this, this relationship that you have to wait you have yes. to wait for so it's it. So it's about patience. We're going to watch that, too. You can catch Imaginary when it hits theaters everywhere March 8th. Dewanda, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>